Hello guys, welcome to the next video on MongoDB database tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we have seen how we can create a database and drop a database using MongoDB and Mongo Chef uh, tool, right? In this video, we will see how we can create a collection and how we can drop a collection in MongoDB. So let's get started. We will start by creating a new database, which I'm going to name it as MyDB. Because if you remember in the last video, I have shown you how to drop a database. And in that process, we have already dropped our database. And I will press this button and it's going to create the database and it will switch the current database to MyDB. Now to create a collection, you need to use uh, this command. We have uh, several commands to create a collection. The first is db.createCollection. Okay, so just write db.createCollection. And if you can see here in the IntelliSense, this uh, create collection takes two arguments. One is the name of the collection and other is the options. But for now, we are only going to use the name, the options we are going to see a little bit later, right? So just give the name of your collection, for example, my collection, and then close the bracket and execute this uh, query. And it says, okay, one. So that means our collection is uh, created, right? Now to see the collection, you just need to write show collections and just execute it. And you can see right now we have uh, one collection named my collection in the current database, right? Now the second way of creating a collection is we have seen in the last video. So we can create a collection. For example, I want to create a collection and the name of the collection I want to uh, give as, for example, my collection or uh, my collection 2. Okay, so my collection 2 and then dot insert. And in the insert, we have seen in the last video, we can give a JSON in a key value pair, for example. For example, uh, once again, the name and the value of the name for example some name max okay and execute the query and it's executed successfully and we are going to uh, give the query show collections once again and it gives my collection and my collection too so now we have two collections right now this query or this command what is going to do is is going to create the collection if the collection is not present and if the collection is already present then it's going to use that collection and then insert this document in that collection right so if it's not present create it if it's present then insert into it right now to drop a collection what we need to do is we need to use once again uh, this db command and then your collection name, for example, we want to drop our first collection, which is called my collection. And then you give this command dot drop. So just write dot drop and it's going to drop this collection. So let's uh, hit this query and then it says true, which uh, means that our command is successful. And then once again, we will uh, just show the collections. And now we have only one collection, right? And if you want to uh, remove this collection also, you can just uh, give the command once again, db.myCollection2, which is the name of second collection, dot drop, and execute this command. And it says true. Once again, you just uh, give the show collection commands. And now we have no collections. So in this way, you can create collection and drop collection in MongoDB. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please wait, comment, subscribe and bye.